Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Canik Mate SFX. This one was released a couple months ago, a lot of people took notice. We have become familiar with the TP9 SFX. The name change is worth noting. This is a Mate SFX. Flat dark earth frame, looks kind of cool, black slide. But there are some differences, but let's first run down the pistol. 5.2 inch barrel, it does have slide cuts right there. Three dot sights. And it currently has a Swamp Fox Sentinel. If you look at the magwell, it does have a removable flared magwell. Makes it nice for the quick mag changes. I know a lot of people love the Canik models for competition. They love the trigger. All that is included with the Mate SFX. One thing worth noting is that not only does this have a ambidextrous magazine release, but also an ambidextrous slide stop so a lot of people who are lefties look for those kinds of things and you'll certainly find it with the mate sfx hey i need to pop in here to make a correction on this video if we look at the tp9 sfx we will notice the magazine release is installed on the left side of the handgun it can be reversed to the right side when i spoke about the mate sfx i said that it is fully ambidextrous however it is in the same configuration this is the magazine release is installed on the left side and that too can be reversed to the right side making it left-handed friendly it's a canic though the trigger is incredible and many people would agree with that we're looking at about a four pound trigger with a very short reset right there and I, I do believe that is the thing that sells Canic pistols is the trigger. I know I certainly like them. It's pretty, pretty darn nice trigger and they keep the weight light and the reset short. Does have a trigger bar safety in there. It is red. We see that with some of the other Canic pistols. And there's a look at the slide. The MSRP on this is 575. It's going a little bit more than that at this point in time as is everything in the gun world but the mate sfx is selling more than the msrp now if we look at the tp9 sfx you can see two full-size handguns barely fit into my viewfinder on the camera both 5.2 inch barrels this has a gray cerakote finish okay tungsten gray is what they call it and comes with two 20 round magazines both of these handguns are loaded with accessories in the case so with that msrp that i just mentioned you're going to find everything from holsters to tool kits and everything else and so canic is known for that and they certainly did not skimp out with the mate sfx when you purchase this it comes with a flush fitting 18 round magazine you can see that right there and the flared magwell it it kind of wraps around the hand or the hand wraps around it and it, it really feels nice but of course the additional rounds with the base plate okay plus two base plate there you, you get the same feel but additional two rounds this comes with with 20 round mag so you don't get the the flat base plate but while we look at the pistols although we have a flat dark earth versus a black frame a black slide versus a tungsten gray we can see that the slide cuts are essentially the same one of the advantages with the tp9 sfx is that it does have a fiber optic front sight versus a single dot it's a three dot system serrated black and fiber optic with the tp9 sfx the trigger pull is essentially the same or at least very similar you're looking at right around four pounds i already showed this with the other one however i've raved about this one throughout the years and i continue to because it is pretty amazing so if you love this trigger on the tp9 sfx you're going to find it on the mate sfx ambidextrous so that is a nice touch Now, I already mentioned this has a Swamp Fox Sentinel on it. That is actually an advantage and allow me to explain. When you remove the top plate for the, the slide cut here for the red dot, you actually remove also 
the rear sight. You won't do that with this. So this allows for smaller red dots as where this is for larger red dots. I remember when I first got this, I put a loophole Delta Point Pro on there and I liked it. I didn't fall in love with it. I said, I'm just as accurate with without it. However, it does offer that availability. This allows the smaller ones. So if that means anything to you, you may want to go with this. You know, is it worth an additional 25 bucks? Well, if you're, if you're left-handed, most definitely it is. You know, it's got the ambidextrous controls all around. Both have the striker fire indicator. You can see that's red there. They both have that pretty consistent with Canik. It is worth mentioning, however, that the slides will not work with each other. And if you can get a look at that, you can see that the, the rear plate is cut a little bit different, so they, they won't work. That's a, a question that often comes up, but the magazines will. So we're looking at 575 MSRP. We're looking at 550 MSRP. Should the owners of the TP9 SFX run out and get the Mate? Well, you know the Canik fans will. They'll, they'll get anything <laughs> that says Canik on it. However, I, I don't think this is making that many changes to make most people run out and, and do that. However, it's a phenomenal gun. I took a few shots already and I certainly enjoyed it. Last thing I'm going to mention, and, and there are there are some more. However, the serrations on top of the slide here, you know, they say that cuts down on glare. I haven't noticed. You know, I've shot some with the serrations, others without. I, I've never said, hey, you know, that glare is too much for me to handle. They removed it with the Mate SFX. And they put a loaded chamber indicator bar on top as where we don't see that with the TP9 SFX. Both phenomenal handguns, both straight shooters, no doubt about that. And both have very fine reputations, especially this one's been around longer. However, I do believe the Mate SFX will have a fine reputation because, you know, it's got that great trigger, long barrel. You, you could compete with either. I know a lot of people Love the TP9 SFX. Canik themselves say you can take this out of the case and compete day one. I believe you could do the same with the Mate SFX. And Canik lovers will enjoy it. Or people who just want a full-size handgun. 20-round capacity for an MSRP under $600. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.